police. This gentleman walked into the library. How dare I? He is within his legal right to record. But if he's recording... All right, listen, y'all. Click the like button and welcome to Soul Search. Okay, all that. Yeah. I don't... I, listen, this dude, Long Island Audit... I've said something before in passing, but um yeah, I I'm not I'm not cool with this dude what he doing. Okay? This is not his first time. This is not his first time. And y'all champion it and go along with it mainly because of the whole mess, the the Dalton and Thornton situation, Tiffany Hanyard. I get it. Okay? We all get it. Yeah. But what I don't agree with is making further victims out of the alleged victims. The people that actually live in a freaking city. This is not the first time he's done it. And um, no, I can't condone it. Go take your butt somewhere else and go do something else. At this point, that's where I'm at with it. Okay, that's where I'm at with it. And if y'all are not going to say nothing, then I'm saying something. All right, going into places where people work to stress them out, harass them. What that got to do with Tiffany? Huh? My image. I don't want them to record it. Yes. Do I have a right to say no? You're yes, out. Yes, I do. question. You guys have cameras all over the place recording, right? Yes. Well, we do. Okay. Because we hey, what's up, guys? Long Island. And then look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the title. Officers go against super mayor Tiffany Hanier so he can get your, you know, get you guys to look at it. Now, there was another YouTuber, I can't remember his name, but he went to Dalton and he, he tried to go in, I think, I guess it was the city hall building and he had some issues. And what's the boy name, the, the officer, the chief or whatever, Lacey, he, he got, he got pretty bold and out of pocket. And that was a pretty popular situation going on, right? So here comes this dude right after. And he wants to try to recreate similar situations. And it, I, th this is my opinion. And this is what I've been seeing him try to do. But you're going inside of places where people have to work. Who don't necessarily or don't. And we don't know either way. Have anything to do with what Tiff? These are people who live here, work here. They don't have anything directly to do with what Tiffany is doing. But he wants to get them all on camera. He wants to embarrass them. He wants to harass them. And he wants to, you know, um, carelessly put an image out here as if they need to be held responsible and harassed and questioned like, you would Tiffany and her cronies. No, I'm not okay with this. But then I get it. They they work in a public setting. I get that. Mm -hmm. We're not stupid. We understand that. Um, they 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 are recording people too. What's your next argument? You have a right to record. Yeah, all that. But go take your ass to find you some hillbilly town. Okay, because they are some that have issues going on, and go mess with them. And mess with their employees. And stop going to Dalton. You know? Yeah. That. Back again with another video. Today we're at the public library here in Dalton, Illinois. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our government recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. We're immediately greeted with our friendly reminders that they're always recording us. But it always seems to be an issue when we, the people, record them. Excuse me? Oh, I saw the sign right here, director's office, yeah. I saw it. No, you don't get to take pictures in here. I was just taking some pictures from the door. I didn't go inside. Yeah, but you're not supposed to do that. Interesting. Interesting what? You all seem to take a lot of pictures and video of everyone in the library. What's interesting? What's interesting that she don't want you coming in here, some strange dude with a camera piercing and filming and filming inside of somebody's office and shit like that. Just because it's public. Hey, boy, you don't pay no taxes there. Okay, you, you do not pay no taxes there. Firstly, 
Secondly, what what's going on at the library? Huh? Are they smuggling funds at the library? Is that what they do? Do they handle taxpayers' dollars at the library? Huh? They got a, some kind of undercover DRUG operation going on. They smuggling things in books and you about to bust the whole thing wide open and all the workers there and librarians are all in on it. Hmm? Do they have some things where they're taking underage young ones behind, did like behind the, the library desk and in the director's office and they're doing strange things to them and it's been going on for years and all of them are in on it and you about to bust the whole thing wide open? What you got? What's your point? So you all take a lot of pictures and videos of people I'm in the library. I'm so that's what I'm supposed to do. You can't take pictures of people that you either, either for minors. I mean, you can't take pictures of minors or anything. Where are there minors here? But I'm saying, but you, you can't take my picture without my permission either. Who says that? I don't want to be on your video. It's so a nice library. I like, so I'm just saying, I like the color and everything. I mean, listen, she works there. Cool. Everybody got a job, bo. Okay? Everybody got to have a job. These people need to have a job. This is what they do. And they probably like what they do. Okay? And so we get it. We understand. You can pull out your camera and you can record. But you can't take your ass down to uh, Heroin Town and record there. Okay? You can go there and you can show us about your people that be on them pills. And then, and then put needles in their arms. Like, it's just happening. You you ain't you don't want to report on that? You don't want to audit that shit? Hmm? You know, there's a whole town out there with, with freaking incest going on. Like, it's the, the most inbred ancestral family today. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you everything. Cause you know about it. Go on down there and film them. That's what I want you to do. Go on down there and film them. But just, but realistically, does, does it make sense? Does it does it make sense to not want to be recorded and then come up to the man that's recording, obviously recording? Does that make what any I'm sense? To you is that I'm not letting you know that if there are minors running around, you can't take pictures of them. I'm well, my goal, you. my objective is not to record any minors. That's not what I'm trying that. to do. All I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you that. That. I know that you told me that now. Right. But so. I'm telling you, we protect the minors in here. So if sure, you have there's... children coming through, I'm just letting you know. Please don't take pictures of a minor. I'm, I, that's not my goal. More my objective. I don't know what your goal is. I just told you. I just told you my goal, man. I am not a minor. I didn't know what your goal is. I, no, I'm telling. I understand you're not a mind reader. I'm, that's why I'm saying I'm making it very clear that that is not my objective here today. But even taking pictures of people who don't want to be in your pictures is, you know, we, we ask permission to take pictures of people. Why are you taking pictures of them? Exactly. If 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 they asking you and they're telling you they don't want to be on your stupid camera, your stupid film, where you're gonna get <coughs> paid from YouTube, not them. Okay, you got a big channel, so you getting a big, you getting real money. Okay, you get real money. Um, they're not getting none of that. You're taking, you coming to their town and getting their image so that you can profit off of it. And you're, you're, you're somehow, because everybody's different. Everybody comprehend things differently and piece things differently. So you, you have the option of spinning a narrative that they may be in, in some way. You know, on the corruption of their own town, deceiving their own people, like doing their own people wrong. This is a scandal that you're putting them on film with. What What's wrong with you? Huh? You don't got nothing else better to do? Nobody ain't called your ass out yet? That you still keep going back to Dalton messing with employees, son? Okay, and while we at it, Y'all going to have the nerve to tell that woman, um, heckle her and allow this dude back in your town after he came there and, and, and went and filmed the employees. Woman walked off, said she was quitting or whatever. And he act like, Oh, can you go see about her? Cause she said she going to do something to me, man. What? Then when the woman get in a meeting and say, she feels unsafe when people come into town doing what he's doing he gonna stand there and his camera on his breath well he wasn't he people heard him and really like oh like eh. like she not no woman ain't supposed to be intimidated by your big oh, we don't know you ass coming to their town with that shit putting cameras in their faces and everything acting off and then take listen let me tell you something son Unless you sticking that camera in Tiffany face, unless you busting in her office 
or wherever she at and her and Jamal and 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 homes and all of them unless you going there and you interrupting they shit you ain't doing nothing bro and even then you still ain't doing nothing okay even then you still not doing nothing let me tell you again even then you still not doing nothing what is what you're doing right now gonna contribute to helping the people of Dalton in their situation hmm you got some answers for that? You got some answers for that? Fucking. Cut it out. Oh, I'm just investigating something. That's all. I'm investigating a story that I'm working on for in the village of Dalton, yeah. Yeah, I'm just investigating. I'm an investigator journalist. I'm just taking an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures of video. I'm investigating. So that's why I'm here. You supposed to be investigating this library? Huh? Yes. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. So why would you investigate this? Do this. Y'all ought to be. Let me tell you something. And I know you. Somebody you gonna get mad? You gonna talk that shit? I don't care. I'm telling you what I'm saying. Okay. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for sitting up here, keep letting this boy come to your town and harass your citizens just so he can profit on his channel off of your story. This woman right here and none of the other women are likely working with Tiffany. Okay, look at the library. It's it's beautiful. It's nice. It's colorful. It's neat. It's clean. They're working in a library doing their job. Yes, he has a right, but how many people come staggering into a library um, filming? Putting their camera inside of office rooms and everything. People have a right to be able to go to the library and feel safe. That's the one of the last places you expect some guy who don't even live in your town coming in there putting a camera in your face. I don't care about what you can do and I don't care about, oh, they're feminists and all that. People still should have a right to their privacy. Just because they're in a public place, it doesn't mean that they should lose their right to privacy. And it doesn't mean that just because there's some, you know, scandal in their town, that you can use that as your excuse to go and take advantage of the black people. And yes, you can, y'all can, I'm making it about freaking race. Are you kidding me? If you don't like it, turn away. I don't care. Yes, I'm making it about race. This guy who is not them keeps coming to that town and making the residents feel unsafe. And he is profiting off of it. He's getting, let me cut. Hold on. This video got 263,000 views now the first time i had something to say about it i wasn't nice this is me being nice i wasn't nice the first time but the residents were oh you know long out of audit we we stand you i'm some of y'all okay i'm just saying oh we happy to hear do you hear you know we got a celebrity in town oh yeah a big guy, he's handsome, ain't he? Oh, you can do what you want. You can um, sit up here and heckle our uh, woman that lives in our town, one of our local residents, who's sitting up here saying she don't feel safe with some big six foot twenty two uh, guy coming in with a camera and putting it in her face and acting like she down with Tiffany and when she get in there and literally cry and say I don't feel safe and I don't want to be filmed and I don't have anything to do with politics she get talked down upon not just by him but by y'all also telling her shit like she's supposed to be in politics okay well that's your opinion her walk in life is not your walk in life but that doesn't mean she doesn't deserve to feel safe just because y'all put somebody in office or allow somebody to get in office and and it's not going well. That doesn't mean that woman shouldn't be able to go and, you know, do her work and not have these guys come and stick cameras in their faces and y'all should be standing up for that. 
Just like you need to be getting on his ass about this. What's going on in the comment section? Smarter that girl to shout out her socials. The library looks like a nightmare ran strictly by females. Synchronized menstrual cycles. What kind of crap is that? That's another thing I noticed too. There's another channel. There's another channel that, that get, is getting paid off thought. And I don't think he's went there. But he likes to talk about it. He likes to talk about it. And in his comment section are some of the nastiest and most racist comments ever. And yes. We know Tiffany, she, uh, but Tiffany trash, okay? We can't do nothing about what Tiffany do. However, regardless of even that, they go too far. And then they don't just keep it about Tiffany. They talk and, and, and say it about black people and black women. And the guy don't moderate nothing. He don't say nothing. And for those of you that keep going in the comment section talking about the, don't give him the play. Don't give him the like. Don't give him the comment. Don't watch it. As soon as you see his channel, his video pop up about Dalton, just don't watch it. Click not interested. Tell YouTube, get the message. I don't want to see this video. Hell, you can report comments if you, if you feel like they're reportable. But why are y'all allowing this shit? Glad to see those two. Okay, I was about to quit, but let me get to the cop part. Because his, mind you, his title is that the, the officers are going against Super Mayor. Okay? That, that's supposed to be. And I guess the black woman be chirping out. See, I, I guess he... Um, I guess, I guess he's trying to say because they wouldn't, the cops wouldn't side with them, that he, they're going against Tiffany. But is that technically going against Tiffany at the end of the day? Or is he just getting, I mean, look at how many views it got, 263K. Uh, you, why? Y'all, y'all, so you mean to tell me 263,000 people came over here and said, good on you. Oh, uh, whatever race he is, I don't care. But all I know is he's not one of them. Good on you, boy. You go your ass over to Dalton and show them librarians what for. Because that's sticking it to Tiffany. Bunch of clowns for employees. See, it's no need for them to get called, uh, talk junk about. Think about this. These people are not Tiffany's operation. So why put them in this situation in light of what's all going on? Just so people can come in the comment section and talk bad about them. Somebody, mama, sister, daughter, grandma, and all that. And y'all letting this dude do it. Must be out your damn rabbit. They contact me first to make an appointment to come in. When the news people come, when FEMA comes, when DMV from uh, the state. And they all ask you for permission? Absolutely, permission to record? Because programs have to go through me. Right. So they, they chose to ask you for permission now. Who, they just wouldn't walk up in here. We wouldn't be prepared for that and they, we wouldn't have a space. You're coming in and violating people's privacy. Right. People are pulling up information on the computers. You're violating I mean, people's privacy by recording them. But people know we have cameras. No. Everybody knows that I have cameras. I'm very cameras. visible that I have they a camera. Don't know you. But I'm, I'm very visible that I have a camera. You're walking in. We don't know you from Adam, Jake, John. I you mean, come he acts like what she's saying isn't reasonable, and it is. We're not going to sit up here and say just because these women work at this library, yes, I'm being repetitive because this shit is insane. That we should allow this dude to come in there and do that for no good reason. There's no good reason for him to put them through this. And then subject them to the public. Like she said, people pulling up stuff. You can't control what other people do. You can't. So if they decide to pull her up or do this or do that, like, ugh. Camera and you start filming everyone. I'm that filming the library and it's not acceptable. It's unacceptable. To you it might be ma'am. It might be You are you. not following any rules or regulations for this library. You are disrupting it. I would argue that you and your employees here are okay, disrupting I'm the done. library. I'm done. I'm done. Did you call? 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go get. This um, is ridiculous. I don't know if you're a patron or not, but you need to leave. Do you see how it's a little hypocritical? Whoever that you're, Mama that you're trying to remove is like. Building for filming when your own employees are filming. Do you know they film because you're filming? That's when they started filming because okay. we were told. Well, the, the, the filming started as soon as no. I walked in the door. No, no it did not. It did because. I was the only one talking to you. No, no, no. It I'm talking not. about I'm talking about the, the cameras that are here from the so. public library. If you walk into a bank, they have what? Cameras. Cameras, correct. If you walk into a grocery store, they have what? Cameras. Are you going to go up to them and say, hey, you can't film me because you have cameras on me? You know why I wouldn't do that? I would, never, that? I would never do that. You know why? Why? Because I would be in public. I'm choosing to be in public. So this I know is that a there's, public place. I know that. So, so I'm choosing to be in public. That Let me make my point. I'm choosing to be in public just like everybody here. We get your did. point. You chose Shut to Shut up. In. We get your point. But your point does not excuse what the hell you doing. Slavery was illegal. Okay, people, them people could do whatever they wanted to to their slaves. They were property. Does it make it right? Does it mean they should have did it? No. Do you think you sound intelligent? Because you're, I'm one-upping them. I'm telling them that no matter what they're saying, like get the logic of what you're saying. I can do this. Because it's public and you're filming me and you're in the public. So why can't I film you again? Massacre, rape, kill, do whatever he wanted to do to his slaves. Should he? Just like she named all these respect, respectable <laughs> uh, huh? agencies and, and how they respect you know, making a reservation and getting approval for their visit and what they're going to be doing. Oh, they choose to do that. Yeah. And some slave owners chose not to do some of the harsher things that some of the other ones did. T to be honest, although they could, some people actually chose not to even own slaves. But we see what choices you're making today today i work here right so you, you, cho this you chose this job right ma'am and, and you chose to be in public so that way there's no i would never complain about cameras i'm just i'm not complaining about your cameras in you here are. i'm you're pointing out the hypocrisy no ma'am yes i'm pointing out the hypocrisy that your cameras are allowed and i don't don't need permission to record me or anybody else minors Again, included let me bring it back but to that scenario my would camera you walk into the store no i and said no i would never videotaping everything and if they said would, sir what are you doing and they said oh i'm you said oh you can't stop me i'm videotaping Right. Yeah. I would I would I wouldn't do that in a bank or a grocery store because those are private establishments and they're you said able to make public. You're well, no, they're, your words. no, 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 ma'am. They're, they're, it's public, but it's also. It's hey, how are you, sir? What's Good. On? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Officer Grano. Officer Grano. Nice to meet you, sir. At least we got one comment. The interim director here. This is Lisa Muswega, my business office manager. We have our um, trustee in here. This gentleman walked into the library, how dare took I? out his camera, and just started filming people. The difference is we really asked him, please, could you, you don't really not do this? Okay, because he didn't get permission. We have people on computers. So when I approached him and asked him, what is he doing and why is he? He said, you I'm an independent stop. journalist. No, what did you say? Go ahead. You, I'm an independent no, you said, why didn't you said, why didn't I get, why didn't I get your permission? I said, I don't need it. And then I told you, I'm an independent you journalist working on a story. I don't, I don't. Because we don't release anybody. Can I, can I ask permission. you, um, what you said you're an independent? Yeah, I'm working on a story. I'm investigating the, the village of Dalton. Okay. I mean, he did that is there any me. reason you picked the, the well, library right. specifically? Right. So I can't get really into the specifics of my story because it hasn't been published yet. Uh, it would compromise the story, but I'm just here. As in, I just told you, my name is Sean. You probably identified yourself to me. My name is Sean. I am an independent journalist, and I am investigating the village of Dalton in all government areas of okay. Dalton. I mean, have you have you got enough footage here that you need to that you would be able to leave and let these people get back to their their day? Right. No, no I'm not. I'm not finished with. They immediately as soon as I walked in, they, you know, told me, you know, you can't record in here. You're violating people's privacy. You need the director said I need their uh, permission. And et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this is so not my, enough. My, my, my you don't have enough. You got like a 12, 20 minute video here. You mean to tell me you don't have enough footage? Isn't this better than what you originally could have got? Just going in there saying, oh, this is the library. It looks nice. Look like it's spending a lot of money on the library. Oh, look at the colors and the, look at the architecture and look at how clean it is. And look at these women in here literally doing their jobs. And I wonder how many children and adults can actually benefit from having a stinking library. Like they don't really need a library, but Tiffany wants to spend money on a 
public library. Okay, you that that report would have kind of been like, eh, yeah, and then, you know, people might say, dude, why are you hating on the library? But look at what you got now. You got drama. You was even able to get your, get your title to say the cops are turning their back on Tiffany Henyard. Of course, everybody's going to come running because of the situation, right? And they're thinking, which cops are whistleblowing? Which cops are turning over? Which cops are standing up to Tiffany and saying, hey, Tiffany, I won't let you use me uh, to, to protect you from the citizens. And uh, I, I, that's not what I'm hired for. And I'm going to protect my oath and all of that. Boy, we not going to see none of that in this video. And we know it. And citizens of Dalton, this do shit like this is how you got in the situation you're in now. Have some respect for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Oh, has been halted. Email me. Hey, sir, how are you? Ask if they can come in and do that's, a report. That's them being being polite and trying to go about it the right, like, to just be polite. But in, in this aspect, this is a, a public building. He does have the right to record if he would like, unless there's anything posted saying no recording on inside the building or something like that unless you have signs posted he is within his legal right to record yes yeah, i understand they need to people do. don't want everybody in their business and I, and I and i suggest they do that okay and then you go challenge that and then you really you really gonna show you know how much of a colonizer you are because if they can kind of sign up saying don't post and don't um just like at the gym you know people are getting other people on and just, I mean, yeah, I get the what you can benefit from recording yourself working out, especially if it's for content, right? Or it's for your growth in your working out. But if you're making other people uncomfortable in a certain situation as freaking working out, a lot of gyms have signs up to tell you not to freaking record. What you going to do? Argue that it's a public place. We have that issue going on now. But at the end of the day, you going to build your own gym. Go to a private gym. Go to a gym that may allow recordings. I don't know. But why not respect people who don't want to be filmed while they're working out? Hmm? Why not respect that? That's ridiculous. Them and everything, but as a public citizen, he does have the right to record. Unless he's causing some type of disturbance where he's making it so other people can't do what they want to do, he, he has every right to be here. But if he's recording my image, I don't want him to record it. Yes. Do I have a right to say no? You're and I'm patron. I have a right to be a patron. He's going to post this on YouTube. I don't want to be a patron. He's going to post this on YouTube. The only way we can not be in public is if we never go anywhere. Part for brains. The only way we cannot be in public is if we don't go anywhere. So you're telling me just because you decide to actually live and do what you need to do as well as what you want to do. You should be subject to motherfuckers going around recording you and shit. If you don't want to be recorded, you like. You so what about away. minors? I don't want to be in his video. Minors are the same thing. They're in public. Unless, unless I made it, so officers, I, I wanted to make it very clear. When they brought up minors, I said, my, that's why I'm not in the minors section of the library. My intention is not to record minors. That is not no, what I'm here unless, to do. Unless he's recording minors doing something inappropriate or against the law, again, it's it's legal to record in any public areas. Quick question. You guys have cameras all over the place recording, right? Yes. Well, we do. Okay. Because but we don't release any of them. Okay. Okay. We don't release any of them. They're public any records. We don't release no public records. So they can't be released out of the We don't release them for safety reasons. We have the police coming and looking at our cameras sometimes. Yeah, I understand. I Trust me. I don't like being recorded when I'm out handling my business you. on my day-to-day -day either. But from a law, a law standpoint, he's not doing anything illegal. He's not, like, intentionally going about and disturbing your day, like, getting in your face, messing up your work while you're doing it or anything like that. So he has he has the legal right to be here and record if you like. And if the patrons don't want to be recorded, that's okay, too. If they tell uh, him don't record, area. but if they tell him don't record me, then he needs to move away from them, yes? No. 
I would. They're a public man, but I would. I would commit to you that I would. My intention here is not to get in anybody's face or record anybody that doesn't want to be recorded. You know, you came up to That's me. That's a lie. Me. If a That's patron... a lie. You've been arguing this whole time that you can record them when they're sit They're asking you not to record them. So you're telling a stinking ass lie. You came there to do exactly what you're doing. Okay, and the officer's mad as hell because they got to wear body cams. So they want the public to see what it's like that hopefully enough of this eventually down the road will help the public get on their side a little bit about them body cams. Nice try, son. It ain't going to happen. The library, your public servant. But if a patron library said, hey, I don't want to be recorded, I'm not just going to sit there and record them. That's not what I'm here. I'm here investigating the village of Dalton. As you know, there's a lot of That's controversy with the village what of Dalton. He was doing, hey, sir, I just didn't get your name and badge number, if I may. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. From a law standpoint, we can we can ask him if he would be willing to leave, but we can't we can't make him leave or anything like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not trying to start any problems. Yeah, I'm just. I, I don't. I'm not gonna be here all day, sir. Yeah, just try to be respectful. Yeah, right. No, I, I, have I been respectful since you got here? This is how I've acted since before you got here, sir. I'm not. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody at all. I'm just trying to stand up for my rights, investigate. You know, as you know, the village of Dalton is under high scrutiny in, in, in the media, your, your department, the mayor, etc. So. I'm just here investigating those those matters here. All right. Well, that's all. Yeah, like I said, just you know, try and be respectful. If somebody does of course, want I'm to always recording, respectful. I, I understand you do have the right. But that's right. No, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I want I want y'all to see this. So I want y'all to see how does this match up with his title? Officers goals against Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard's anti-transparency regime. Hmm. Huh? Yes, you, Tiffany's been doing, she's been anti-transparent, okay? But the people in the library, because they don't want you to record them, and the officers are do, actually doing their jobs. <laughs> They're doing their jobs instead of trying to bully you and tell you you got to leave. You're going to create some type of title and meaning to it that really don't, it's not what you're saying it is. It's not. This is ridiculous. This is some sick shit. 